again, friends. Matt with Eddie's Guitars coming to you, as always, from St. Louis, Missouri. And we've got a stellar, stellar guitar for you folks to check out. One I'm very excited about. A true classic, if you ask me, I think, by any definition. This is a, uh, a, a seriously remarkable James Olsen SJ, or Small Jumbo for short. Uh, this beauty was built in 1995, so you better believe it's had a number of years now to gracefully open up, and that is exactly what this guitar has done. Uh, which we will hear in just a little bit here, but wanted to uh, co cover some of the details of uh, this particular Olsen SJ uh, as we so rarely get these through our shop. We don't see these super, super often, and we always really treasure the time that we spend having with these guitars in our shop. We can uh, see that the top that uh, Mr. Olson started with here is clearly a master grade Western Red Cedar top here. This is beautiful old growth western red cedar here with a tremendous amount of that medullary silking kind of happening all throughout this top just a sign of the perfect cut orientation uh, when this was becoming a soundboard originally so just a really beautiful piece of wood here James Olson is known for his use of western red cedar that's especially true in his uh, small jumbo models uh, made famous um, by many, uh, not limited to folks like James Taylor, uh, very well known for playing Western Red Cedar topped Olsen SJ guitars. So this is exactly what I think of when I think of that classic uh, Olsen SJ is exactly this. You can see that the perimeter of the top has that beautiful, very fine, tight herringbone going around the entire top. We've got a matching herringbone rosette going around that sound hole as well. Really clean looking, nice tortoise shell pick guard on the face of the guitar as well. Back and sides of this guitar are a perfect, perfect set of straight grain quarter sawn East Indian Rosewood. This is a beautiful set of East Indian Rosewood and throughout the years Olson has been known to use a number of different species of Rosewoods on his guitars as well as other tone woods as well. But the East Indian Rosewood is certainly a tried and true uh, in, in Olson's stable for sure, especially when you pair it with that beautiful cedar top. I love how he matched the uh, that nice back strip with that herringbone matching the uh, perimeter of the top as well as the rosette. And we've got some really nice nice maple black and maple purfling around the uh, the back of the guitar as well. The body of the guitar itself is actually bound in a really handsome, really handsome tortoiseshell binding. And you can really see kind of the tortoiseshell pattern throughout as it has kind of a nice light backing behind it. So you can really see the full color of that nice brown tortoiseshell. Very luxurious looking for sure. All the way up on the face of the headstock, we will see a black ebony veneer. And once again, you'll see it beautifully purfled in the black maple black uh, purfling there on the face of the headstock. We have that most powerful Olsen inlay done in mother of pearl all the way up top there. We've got the uh, the chrome tuning machines here, shaler tuning machines, uh, the wonderful, wonderful Olsen profile C neck on this guitar. I have got to tell you, it's just a, a really beautiful neck profile to behold. It's a relatively slim taper all the way up to the body. So whether you're playing up high or maybe if you're capoed, you know, halfway up the neck, uh, this is a super comfortable neck getting all the way up high there, really utilizing all the real estate. We do have the standard one and three quarter inch nut and the two and a quarter spacing down here at the lovely ebony carved bridge. I really love his particular bridge design that he does. It's instantly recognizable as an Olsen bridge, if you ask me, really a nice shape. Uh, this guitar is also loaded with both an under the saddle piezo pickup, as well as an internal microphone. And included with the guitar is actually a Fishman acoustic blender system, uh, all of which works really beautifully together plugged in. And you can kind of dial in your microphone and piezo pickup levels there works really well in a live scenario but acoustically this guitar is 10 out of 10 if you ask me we will anxiously listen to this beauty now
Thank you.